So second last day in Tokyo slash Osaka slash Japan. And my goal today is to head over to Kyoto. And I'm actually excited to be heading back to Toronto soon. It's changing up my plans a bit. It's around 6-ish, 7-ish a.m. Um, it's still really dark outside, although camera's not capturing that. Uh, these are what the streets of Japan look like at 7 a.m. in the morning. So for those who are visiting, I personally picked up a Kyoto Osaka sightseeing pass. It's about 8 hours Canadian. Um, whereas two round trips to Kyoto and back to Doyo Bashi Station is about 850 yen already as it is, so you're saving a few dollars. And you get this cool looking pass too as well, so it's pretty cool. So yeah, I recommend it, and I am just waiting for my train, which is supposed to schedule to leave at 7 to on the camera on the railway, so So I finally arrived to the station, and man was that a disaster. For tips for future tourists or planners to come here, be sure to pay attention to which station you get off on at as well. And the limited semi-express train doesn't work so well, so take the local one just to make sure you actually arrive here where you want to be. So as you can tell, the theming is primarily with the Fushimi and Nari uh, figures, which is pretty great. Um, and where possible, I would recommend getting one of these day passes. Just so, if you do get lost like I did, you don't have to pay again, so, pretty good. I like it. So one of the reasons I really like coming here is because A, it's free to go in, B, it looks absolutely amazing, and C, it's a great way to hike. Um, yeah, there's also a food vendor area um, as you leave the area, you're going, coming down and going up, so it's pretty cool. Probably the most peaceful thing I've ever done on this entire trip. Come here early, there's like close to no one, which is great. And it's just you and one with nature. But you have to admit, look how cool that is. <laughs> So, I'm at a break point. I can't decide if this idea to go up the mountain was a good idea or not. But at least the view is okay, sort of. Not really. I don't know how much further I have to go up this mountain, and I don't do cardio for the life of me. So, we'll see if I even make it up there or if I die halfway.
So one of the things I like to do after I make my visit to Fushimi Mari is to check out all the food vendors as well as the souvenir stops. Um, as you come out of the gates and you continue down the street to back to the station, there's a whole bunch of them, so you can get a whole variety of cool stuff. Mm. So one other thing I had to do while I was on this trip to Kyoto was to also visit the Kyoto Pokemon Center. It's one of the only ones that didn't make use in the 2018 trip, so here's a few clips.